Hello, pioneers. For those of you that are new, I'm Tom Berry, your principal, and I'd like to take just a few minutes to uh, give you some information to help you be successful and clarify expectations for uh, your time here at Leavenworth High School. First of all, I'm very proud of you. We've had a great first semester and uh, had some great activities and some very large successes for our school. So really pleased with the work that we have accomplished here first semester. We'd like to, as I say, clarify a few expectations and make sure that uh, some changes that were made in the summer after the uh, student handbooks were printed uh, are clarified and that you have uh, good knowledge of what's expected of you. First of all, with electronic devices, if you remember correctly, we did open that up to allow you to use electronic devices during passing time this year. Again, that's passing time only. Uh, electronic devices should never be used during class time for texting, social media, calls, surfing the net. All those types of activities are not for youth, for student use during class time. And that's class time in the class, in the hall, in the restroom. If you are using them for those activities uh, during class time, they will be confis the uh, phones will be confiscated and uh, you'll go through the process. Um, also, as far as uh, being allowed to use headphones, those types of things in class, just like any classroom, those things, those decisions are up to the teacher. So if a teacher allows you to, uh, while you're working quietly, to do some listening, that's up to them. If they're not allowing it, that's also up to them, and you'll need to respect that. All right, the next thing I'd like to talk about is seminar. Uh, this year with our block schedule, you were provided some seminar time, seminars A, B, and C. Just want to remind students that seminars are for academic purposes and then sometimes we use them for meetings, assemblies, and so on. If you are seeking to go from your seminar to go see another teacher to make up a test, make up work, or get extra help, make sure that you always have a pre-pass from that teacher as well as if you want to go to the library, you need a pre-pass from the library. Once you have that pre-pass, you will show that to your seminar teacher and then they will issue the big yellow uh, seminar pass. Uh, that yellow seminar pass should be in place for every student who is moving during seminar. The uh, uh, other thing that you have to remember to do is to sign in and out. So that protects you so that we can verify where you're at in case we need to, need to follow up with that. So again, that's uh, just the things to remember about seminar. Uh, students uh, do want to remind you that after school, the school does uh, need you to, unless you're with a teacher in a classroom or with a coach or with a sponsor working uh, under their supervision, that you do need to leave the building, uh, especially uh, beginning at around 10 to 15 minutes after school is out. We do give you a little bit of time in case you need a quick meeting or, or need to uh, see some people uh, in the office or in the school. But at that time, you need to then clear the building. If you're waiting for a ride, uh, provided you behave properly, we will allow you to wait near or between doors uh, in waiting for that ride. I do want to let you know that at 4 o'clock, the building does close. So if you are still waiting at that, that time, you will need to at least go out in between the doors. And, and if weather's all right, on outside at 4 o'clock. That's just what we're going to have to do there. So just kind of keep those things in mind. Try to have your rides here on time at the end of the school day. First hour, remember if you come late to first hour, there are tardies to first hour. Uh, you do sign in in the library and uh, that does continue throughout the course of the year. Uh, I've been asked to explain that tardies in first hour, just like all classes, don't start over till second semester. So your tardies do build up to your first hour just like any of your class hours. So again, those, those turn over again at the beginning of second semester. Remember the uh, areas with tape in the building, there are two, two or three that are called no standing zones. We just want to keep people moving in those areas so we don't have blockages and that type of thing, slowing people down. Uh, clothing wise, just want to remind you, no sagging pants, making sure that you don't wear hats, bandanas, or use bandana as a uh, hairband, that type of thing, uh, making sure that you remain appropriately dressed when you come to school. Overall, we've done a good job with that. We have had to work with some individuals there. So just keep that in mind so we don't have to hassle you. The teachers at the end of this video are going to hand out some amendments or some changes to the student handbook. You received the student handbook in the planner at the beginning of the year. That has to be sent in clear back in April uh, 
report to be published in time for the start of school. There were some rule changes uh, that took place after that publication, and so this is giving you uh, the actual changes that, that uh, took place. There's nothing to change for you now. The, the changes that we gave you, including the electronic changes, those types of things, we did talk to you about at the beginning of the year. This is just putting in writing anything that might be a little bit different from the student handbook. As we move into December here, the beginning of winter sports season arrives. I want to remind all of our students that we want to be the very best pioneers possible. We want to be positive. We want to be, show good sportsmanship and good maturity wherever we go. Not only do we want to have great teams, we want to have great fans. So don't forget to uh, bring your good behavior along and uh, cheer appropriately at our games and matches. Uh, we had some students the last couple years who found out that they lost their privilege of going to games and matches because they weren't able to uh, uh, exhibit that type of uh, uh, maturity. So don't forget that. Really don't want anybody to be left out who wants to come support their fellow students. I want to uh, thank you all again for the great first semester of the school year. Let's finish up strong. Remember, we've got three weeks left. This is a great opportunity to improve your grades. Try to finish up strong. Don't let down. If you've got good grades, keep them up there. If you need to improve a little bit, make it set a goal. In these three weeks, bring it up maybe one letter grade. Bring that D up to a C. Bring that C up to a B. Uh, and certainly anything that, that uh, if you have an F, make sure that you do everything possible to try to get that to passing so that you can get that credit and don't have to take that course over. Again, thank you very much. As I said earlier, I'm very proud of you. It's been a wonderful semester. Let's finish up strong and go Pioneers!